18 September. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, the power of focused pursuit. When you set the Lord before you, you anchor your life on an unshakable foundation. Psalm 16, 8 declares, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. This verse captures the essence of unwavering focus on God. When he becomes your central focus, every other thing pales in comparison. Setting the Lord before you means making him the target of your affection, decisions, and actions. It means your life is no longer directed by fleeting worldly interests, but by the eternal purposes of God. As you do this, you position yourself to walk in divine purpose, free from the disappointments and instability that come from placing your trust in temporary things. If you don't have a clear target, anything and everything can become your focus. Without a defined purpose, distractions can easily sway you. But when the Lord is set before you, all other things lose their allure because your heart is anchored in something greater. Like Paul said in Philippians 3, 13, 14, Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. When you are pressing toward the goal of fulfilling God's will, distractions lose their power over you. There are countless distractions in life, whether they are temptations, people's opinions, or even personal struggles. Yet when you set the Lord as your focus, everything else becomes secondary. Your focus sharpens as the things that once captivated your attention begin to fade. In this place of singular focus, you can cry out like the psalmist, Lord, perfect that which concerns me. Psalm 138-8 This is a prayer of alignment, asking God to bring to completion every aspect of your life that is in His will. When you are fully focused on the Lord and the pursuit of His purpose, you move by the speed of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers you to go beyond natural limits and enter a place of supernatural acceleration. In Isaiah 40.31, the Word promises that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This divine acceleration means that obstacles that once seem significant are barely noticed because of the speed at which you are advancing. When you move in God's acceleration, what once distracted or hindered you becomes insignificant. However, when you slow down, whether due to doubt, fear, or distraction, you begin to see things that are not aligned with your purpose. Your attention shifts to issues, opinions, or circumstances that God may not even be concerned with. This is often the result of engaging lower gears in your spiritual life. When you are not fully committed to pursuing God's will, your speed decreases and distractions increase. But in this season, may you engage all the gears of your spiritual pursuit. May you enter into divine acceleration, where the Spirit of God propels you forward with supernatural speed. As you engage with God's purpose, the distractions of the past lose their grip, and you begin to move at the pace of heaven. In the name of Jesus, receive divine acceleration and rise above every hindrance. To achieve this level of acceleration, it is essential to focus on what concerns the Lord. Jesus taught this principle in Matthew 6.33, 
but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When you prioritize God's will, everything else falls into place. If you've been distracted in the past, it's possible your focus was on things that did not matter to God. Distractions often arise when our goals diverge from God's purpose for our lives. Concentration is one of the major keys to success. Every time you look back or shift your focus to irrelevant things, you lose momentum. In the pursuit of God's purpose, looking back or allowing distractions to slow you down only delays your progress. As Luke 9.62 says, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Keep your eyes fixed on what God has called you to do. Don't allow the noise of the world or the opinions of others to divert your attention from God's plan. The journey of pursuing God's purpose is not without obstacles, but obstacles are part of the process. They serve as opportunities for growth and refinement. Obstacles differ from one person to the next, but they all serve a common purpose, to deepen your dependence on God. James 1-2-4 encourages us to count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Perseverance is necessary in the face of obstacles. When you keep your eyes on the Lord, obstacles become stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Elisha exemplified this perseverance when he refused to be distracted from his purpose. Even when others, including influential figures, tried to deter him, he remained focused on receiving a double portion of Elijah's anointing. 2 Kings 2, 1, 15 Like Elisha, you must set your heart on that which is greater than what you already have. Do not allow people or circumstances to pull you away from your pursuit of God's purpose. There will always be people and things that seek to deplete your spiritual energy and divert your focus. Some distractions come in the form of seemingly good opportunities, while others come as direct attacks on your purpose. However, as you stay connected to the Lord and allow His Spirit to guide and empower you, you can avoid these traps. The power and fire of the Holy Ghost will fuel your pursuit and enable you to run your race with excellence. In this season, may you set the Lord before you as your ultimate focus and anchor. As you do, He will perfect the pursuit of your purpose and distractions will lose their power over you. Engage all your spiritual gears and receive divine acceleration to fulfill the assignments God has placed before you. Let nothing hinder your progress. Concentrate on the things that concern the Lord, and may the power of the Holy Spirit drive you forward with supernatural speed. Like Elisha, keep your eyes on what is greater, and allow nothing to distract you from your pursuit of God's higher calling. Keep your focus on the Lord, and you will see Him perfect that which concerns you. Today's prayer, Holy Spirit, I set you before me today as my focus and my anchor. Perfect the pursuit of my purpose and guide me by your Spirit. Help me to stay undistracted by the things of this world and to keep my heart fixed on what concerns you. Grant me divine acceleration that I may move forward with strength and clarity. When obstacles arise, give me the perseverance to overcome, trusting that you are working all things for my good. Fill me with your power and keep me on the path you have set before me. In Jesus' name, amen.
If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Karis and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.